What's going on guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at an item from WorkSharp. Uh, so this is going to be the WorkSharp Precision Adjust. Uh, so this is a manual sharpener. The pieces will come apart. So it does use a uh, sharpening stone. This is a dry stone and it's actually three in one. I'll show that to you here. Uh, so let's take a look at what we get with the WorkSharp Precision Adjust. Uh, so if you look down the side of the guide here, so you get 30 degrees down to 15 degrees adjusted with this knob on the top and it is in one inch or one degree adjustments and the in-betweens are marked out on the side here. So each of those hashes is one degrees between 30 and 25, 25 and 20, and 20 and 15. Um, and then to actually do the sharpening, comes with a guide rod. You have two rubber stoppers on either end that you can adjust for this sharpening stone to actually glide on. And the, the sharpening stone is actually three in one. So you just turn it and the next one locks in place. So you get a 320. Go the other direction. You get a 600, so there's your coarse, your fine, and then you get a ceramic finishing stone as well. Um, there are a few people that 3D print another barrel that will fit in uh, this outer guide, and I'll show here. It actually comes apart, so you can take just this off, and that barrel comes out. So this here's just your, your guide for your fingers. They make a barrel for this to actually attach the lapping film to as well. I don't have one, but I do want to get one. And you just put it back on just like you would the stones. Slide your rubber stopper back on and you're good to go. On the opposite end, you do have a little pivot point and on the base here, actually wind this the whole way up so we can see it. So if you look right here, that little pivot goes right up in and it is magnetic. So you just slide it in and you'll hear it click and it's magnetic in there so it's not going to go nowhere unless you take it out, holds it in place and then to hold the knife in place you have a angle guide, just a little screw here on the little thumb screw loosens up your clamp and I'm actually going to clamp that back down to show you one more feature here so this is also you can see the magnets on the back of it there all you do find your guide slide it in place so that holds your knife put your rod up in do your sharpening. When you're ready to switch sides, move your sharpening rod out of the way. There's a button on the back here, you just press it in. When you press it in, it actually lets that clamp rotate 180 degrees. You can do your second side. Same thing, push the button, flip it back, and you can go back to sharpening again. So let me get you a close up here. So the button is just this right here, this big circle on the back, push that in, and you can turn the clamp side to side. I'll tell you what guys, I ran about five knives through this sharpener, uh, reprofiled three of them, touched up two of them on 20 degrees, and obviously I have an SE in here now, this is the Azula review to come. Um, I have not done anything with this one, it doesn't need it, it is razor sharp. Uh, but the the system it, it's foolproof. I'm not great at hand sharpening. Um, you're where you're gonna see here in another review later this week. I have another work sharp and talk about why I got that one. Guided sharpening is the only way I've. I mean, I can do a whetstone, um, and I can kind of do a rod for butchering. 
but that's about as far as it goes. I can't get a, a precise edge on any blade really until I got this thing. Um, this I just got it the other day. Like I said, I put five knives through it and it's amazing. I can do a Tonto blade, Tonto blade on it. The only thing I haven't figured out, um, I see a lot of reviews saying you cannot do a recurve blade. So uh, blades like the ZT0350 won't be able to be done. Um, actually, I think I touched up my Braza. Um, so the Bastion Braza that I did a review on here a week or so ago. Um, I touched it up, just made sure that everything was on point, and this thing is killer sharp. If you don't trust yourself sharpening knives or you're new to it, honestly, this is the best system you can get. Find the angle of your blade. You can even eyeball the angle of the blade. Um, honestly, not the best way to do it, but you can sit that ceramic stone down and even get that angle if you're looking right between the blade and the stone and see if it matches up. Like I said, not the best way to do it, but it's an option. Or you can just reprofile the blade completely starting at the 320 and working your way up. Uh, I took a knife that I had no clue what the blade profile was and I reprofiled it myself at 20 degrees and it came out beautifully. Uh, like I said, razor sharp, cuts hair, shaves, no problem. So the system definitely works. There's instructions that come with it that make it foolproof. You got to do something pretty bad to mess this up. Um, you, know, you almost have to sharpen at 30 degrees on a knife that's you know 15 and really kill that blade. But I don't even think that's possible if you reprofile if you start from the 320. Um, does kitchen knives there is an adapter that you can get for smaller blades that extends that clamp out further uh let's see what else you can get replacements for the stones as well on workshop's website they do have the stones available that's really it the best part about this this system is 50 bucks 50 bucks to get you a nice start yes it's not a wicked edge it, you know or any of the real high end i mean a wicked edge pro is what like 700 dollars for 50 bucks, I can get a perfectly sharp edge with the lapping attach attachment and just lapping film. You'll get a mirror finish if that's what you're looking for. Um, yeah, I really can't say anything else about it. Like I said, I ran a couple blades through it. I will probably touch up this Azula a little bit um, or my Obake, maybe. And just to try to refine that edge a little bit. I also ran, um, I did a review on the K-Bar TDI Law Enforcement. The blade on it was all chipped up. I refaced that and resurfaced that entire blade and it came out just as sharp as this Azula is out of the box. So definitely nothing bad to say about it guys. Uh, check the link in the description below for the Amazon link. Definitely recommend this sharpener if you're looking to get into knife sharpening or you need a new system. All right, guys, that's all I got for you here today for the WorkSharp Precision Adjust. Later.